just when they thought they could end it. I'm having a much needed break. I needed a break. I was at the end of my tether with everything that had happened. Um, so much had gone on. I shouldn't even have done that Brexit rally. I disappointed myself with that Brexit rally. I shouldn't have been there. Um, I had so much going on. So many problems. I finally relocated my family. I've had a lot of other things going on. And, uh, and then I went for a break and to recharge my batteries. Ready for round 150 with the establishment and Islam. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready when I get back. I'm ready. I've got lots of plans. Let's see what goes. One thing that's com confused me a bit is I see people within UKIP, within the NEC, who are talking about, who are angry about their democracy not being recognised with the will of the people's vote to leave the European Union. UKIP was supposed to put to their members a vote on whether Tommy Robinson could become a member. Democracy within UKIP, you see? The NEC didn't support democracy. They supported a dictatorship that told the members they weren't allowed a choice. Now I'm for more democracy, complete democracy in everything. I think every major decision should be put to the public. I don't believe that we should be dictated to by anybody, least of all Brussels. But unfortunately, if you're a member of UKIP, please contact UKIP. Have a word with them yourselves. There was supposed to be a vote on whether I could join. That didn't happen. Um, now, with the upcoming European elections, which we'll find out by Friday, I'd like to stand for UKIP. Um, not against them. Doesn't seem right. So, I don't understand why they can't put it to their members, haven't put it to their members yet. Um, I'd like them to put it to their members, let their members decide on whether I should be standing for them or not. I also think that within the NEC, they're constantly holding UKIP back. I think that the biggest news story in the world would be if I was standing for, for UKIP as a member of European Parliament, not against them. So, if you're a member of UKIP, contact them, ask them why. Demand to know when are you going to be given your democratic chance, your, your own voice within your party to make the decision. It should be put to the members. It's because I used to be a member of the EDL, they say. Anjem Chowdhury could join UKIP. Someone who was an IRA bomber could join UKIP. The whole rule is ridiculous to me. Um, but, yeah. That's it. And I'm just getting ready. I'm sat here because I'm about to do an interview. I'm doing an interview for The Blaze about censorship. The unbelievable level of censorship. One thing's for sure. Boy, I rattled them, didn't I? I rattled them somewhat. They literally unpersoned me. I'm waiting for the next phase of that. Whether it be my bank account or my phone, maybe. But we'll keep fighting. And yeah, that's my main point of it is... Um, Think about what the government fear. In fact, if I was an elected official, I'd be safer as well. I'd be safer. But think about, you can see all the, com the comments by Jacob Rees-Mogg, the comments by all of them, so worried in case Tommy Robertson becomes an MEP. Why UKIP aren't jumping all over that, I, I don't know. Um, again, I've said for a long time, there's a politically correct movement, or there was, but I thought most of them resigned from within UKIP. UKIP had never spoke about Islam until Jared Batten. Well, they had, Jared Batten had, that's a lie actually. Nigel Farage never had. Um, the Brexit party, the Brexit party. The Brexit party, Nigel Farage abandoned what he started. And now it seems that him and a lot of the people who resigned who are probably gonna be standing for him as MEPs, they just want part of the European Union gravy train of over £100,000 a year wage, just without all of your expenses, without any pension that you get from it. Personally, I don't care about any of that. I just want to bring it down. I want there to be a voice. How many people, how many people standing currently in this country as MEPs do you think are going to rock the European Union with what they're going to have to say? How many of them are going to stand up and tell them about how fed up Britain is? how fed up they are with the European Union, how fed up they are with the dictatorship, how fed up they are with their complete Islamic takeover of many of our towns and cities, how fed up they are of our daughters being sacrificed and handed to them by our politicians and political parties to be raped. 
How many of them are going to give those speeches? See you soon.